Welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, this channel is all about learning. We teach you how to create your own websites. We teach you how to create your own e-commerce websites. And in this video, we're going to be creating an e-commerce website from scratch. So this video is made for beginners. And in this e-commerce website that we're going to create on WooCommerce, we are going to be drop shipping uh, t-shirts. So uh, we're going to teach you how to create your own print on demand, a business online where you're selling t-shirts you can do this for your own brand for example you can create your own brand of t-shirt that you'll be selling or you can do something like this and drop ship um existing type brands i mean it's really up to you and your uh the limit is your own imagination as to what kind of t-shirts you really want to sell in your business and what will make this type of business successful is the branding and how you brand the items um I've seen this type of t-shirts on Facebook and you look at it and you think, I want that t-shirt now. If you can get clients to say, I want that t-shirt now and you can sell it, you are going to make money online. And we are going to teach you how to create a store like this using drop shipping. Clients will come to your store and place orders for t-shirts like this and you will use a secondary supplier like a Printify and we're going to show you in this video how to use Printify as your secondary supplier. They will be making the t-shirts, they will be making them according to the designs that you give them and then they will be shipping these t-shirts directly to your clients and your clients will get them within one one and a half weeks from placing an order and you'll be making a nice healthy profit in between in that whole process so this is a very quick easy business to start for anybody it is not complicated and if you have a little bit of time and are willing to learn follow along in this video and create your own e-commerce business that sells a t-shirt so we're going to start this tutorial on um, our C panel uh, back end. Um, so um, if you don't have a C panel back end yet, you can get one very, very quickly by getting a hosting account with uh, hosting providers like domains. And if you um, if you want to get one, just um, look at the description below. I'm going to link um, domains.co.za and how you can um, you know get your own uh, cPanel account for less than 100 rands uh, on a monthly basis. You will need to host your e-commerce store and domains is one of the cheapest and best and most trusted providers for doing this. Now, once you have your cPanel account, um, it will look like this and domains will give it to you with a free um, uh, SSL certificate and uh, a couple of emails that you can host your emails here. There's, a, there's other things that you can get from this, but what we're interested in is building our e-commerce website that is going to sell print-on-demand items to clients um, all across um, the country. The print-on-demand service that we're going to be using is this one called a Printify. So the way Printify works is um, you create an account with them and um, um, and you can come and see the products that they're offering. You can get t-shirts, hoodies, um, mugs, you know, all sorts of things. And what you um, can do on their website is pick what you want to install in your store and then um, add your own design. So if you have a brand, you can brand it the way that you want. Um, so our store is going to be called Funky Tea. We can create a Funky Tea uh, brand and put it on the t-shirts. And then we can list these t-shirts on our website and people can buy directly on our e-commerce website. And when they place orders on our e-commerce website, we're going to take our money from them and we're going to come back to Printify and place the orders with Printify. And Printify is going to uh, fulfill those orders and deliver those t-shirts directly to the clients that have ordered from us. So it's sort of like drop shipping, but for print on demand items. And if you get the right design and the right sort of logo going and the right sort of brand going for your business, I mean, you can make a whole lot of money with this because you don't require to keep, you know, you're not required to keep stock. You're not required to have a lot of um, startup capital for your business. You're not required to do uh, much except for running an e-commerce business. So all you have to manage with this kind of business is your e-commerce store and your e-commerce brand. And once you've done that, you can create a business like this very, very easily. Start selling t-shirts, start selling hoodies, accessories, all sorts of things, and uh, make a lot of money online with this type of business. Now, let's go back quickly and set up our uh, WordPress. So our WordPress installation is completed. You have two links as usual, the link to your website and the link to um, 
um, the back end of the website. Right. So um, this is our website, what it looks like right now. And this is our WordPress uh, back end uh, right out of the box. And we are ready to get started. The first thing you need to do is to select a theme for your website. You want to get rid of this theme, this ugly theme, and get a theme that is uh, wo uh, WooCommerce friendly. Um, so we're going to go under appearance and we're going to search for a theme here. The theme that I like using all the time that doesn't have any surprises. Um, if I search here for commerce. If I go down here. Is that one there? So I'm just going to install this theme. And I'm going to activate this theme. And we are good. Okay, so let's uh, then go back to our themes and get rid of the ones that we're not using. So um, always do this to delete um, themes that you're not using. Um, reduce clutter on your back end, I mean on your website. And just, uh, you know just just neater okay so then you have just one theme that you're using and uh, we've activated this theme so I think if you go back to your website and you refresh it it will already look different because it's now um, going to give you the same website using the new theme that you've just installed okay then what we need to do after that is to go to our plugins and um, add all the plugins that we need for um, our website okay and um, this time we will go through the wizard. Okay, so just quickly enter your address there. Okay, and once you've done that, it's going to um, sort of recommend a couple of themes for you, um, which is the one that we already have, and this is uh, sufficient, and I'm just going to continue with that. And I'm going to say no to Jetpack. And um, we are almost there okay so now we come to the adding your products a section okay but before we do that i just want to um so this is the woocommerce um if you want to get back here this is on the woocommerce um dashboard okay but before i do that i want to see what my website looks like first because i want to build it as i go along and and, and see what it looks like so let's go uh, back to the website if we restart this it hasn't changed okay so we need to go to um um appearance okay that's what we want we need to go to appearance and um uh, customize there you go okay so the first thing that we need to change is the home page okay a static page we don't have a static page okay so let's create a static page for our home page a day okay so to do that um, we're going to go back and it's fine you can you don't have to save anything because I haven't changed much and we need to go to our elements and uh, we need to find our templates and um, let's have a look at the free kit and try and get a nice beautiful looking a front page for our website and um I'll view it and you can see all the different pages that they've got okay so um they've got a home page that you can use and a home two and a home three currently you cannot use in the home to a home three because you need to have elementor pro i think so um we cannot use that um uh, but we can use the ones that are uh, that you have the green button on okay so uh, that's the one that we will use um so we're going to go back to our page, create a new page, um, add a new page. And we're going to call this page a funky T. Okay, and we're going to edit it. Actually, before we do that, um, edit with Elementor. And we're going to pick um, from our kits and then you can pick the page that you want okay 
Um, uh, the page I'm going to go for this time is not a home page because I don't want to spend a lot of time explaining, you know, landing. I actually want to maximize my home page and use it to display the products that I have in my store. So I want a, a, a page that is that has got good display characteristics. And um, the one that, uh, you know, for, from the top of my head, um, just looking at these kits here, you know, I want something like a portfolio. Even though um, a portfolio page is designed to, to, to showcase a company's a previous portfolio um, items like images or website, whatever it is your company has done. But in our um, case, we're going to use a portfolio page to, dis to, to display our portfolio of products that we're selling. Okay, so I'm going to go with that uh, portfolio page. Okay, and there you go. Just like that, you've got your website, but look at it. It's like boxed in there. It's got the recent post over there and it just looks terrible. So I'm going to publish it nonetheless, and I'm going to just fix that very quickly. Um, if you go back to uh, the WordPress editor, um, which is where we started before we edit with Elementor, you can already see um, under the page attributes there, we don't want the default template. We want the Elementor full width. Okay, and we're going to update that. And as soon as we do that, um, we're also going to um, go back to our uh, appearance, customize the appearance, and uh, change the front page of this of our website. So if you go to a home page settings, remember where we started. We want it to be a static page, and this time we have a static page to use, and it is that funky T page we just created. And if you do that, you will see um, your website changing. And this is the template kit that we got from Envato Elements. And um, with all the images it came with, obviously, we are going to be using the t-shirts that we're selling. Um, and uh, I'm just going to publish that. And um, if everything goes well, even on your site, if you go to the domain for your website that you uh, have, this should go. And if you refresh this, you should now see your new um, template kit installed. Um, and this is exactly what we want. So planning for this website, we're going to describe our brand at the top there. Um, we're going to have some images of some nice t-shirts that we're selling, uh, some branded mugs, all sorts of things we're selling. We're going to make it look colorful, you know, and um, uh, we can remove this because currently we don't have any testimonials, but you can use this section for testimonial. I think this is a perfect um, landing page for our uh, t-shirt business, okay? So now that we've done that, we can go back and um, and uh, start creating, go back to WooCommerce. And um, I think the next uh, step in our, our WooCommerce journey is to add products to our, our website, okay? So um, to add products, we are going to be importing our products from this Printify uh, store, okay? So the first time you come here, you need to then uh, create an account and sign up for your Printify account. Just enter your email there. Proclaim you're not a robot. Okay, but you must identify robots in the images. <laughs> Taxis. Ah, don't save it. Women's t-shirts, that's a bestseller and that's going for, for six dollars. Okay. Um, and you can pick anyone that you like. So the way this will work is you'll get this t-shirt here for $6 and you can convert $6 to your South African rand or whatever currency in your country to figure out how much it is in your current, in your, in your country's currency. So if you take a uh, six, let's just round it off to seven and multiply that by about 18 or 17 rand to the dollar. That's about 120 South African rand for this t-shirt. That's the cost that you, that, that you're incurring. And you can then sell this in your store for um, a little bit more. You know, with T-shirts, you could even go up to 200 Rand. Okay. And then the difference between that uh, 200 Rand and um, uh, minus 120 is that 80 Rand. That's a profit you're going to be making. Okay. So um, 
Um, and, and why would somebody want to buy a t-shirt from you for 200 rand? The branding. Okay, this is where the branding comes in. You're going to find a nice, beautiful design branding to make for your t-shirt that is going to be attractive and then you're going to market this product to your clients and clients are going to want to buy it because of the branding. Click that. Pick that one. Um, and this is the t-shirt uh, from the back, from the front, um, plain with, uh, with no design on it. So um, we're going to create the design that's going to go in the t-shirt and then we're going to add that t-shirt to our store. Okay, so you've got a couple of options if for this t-shirt. If you look there, um, you've got different suppliers and these are different suppliers that can fulfill your order. Uh, this one is from the United States and they charge $10 for this t-shirt and $4 for shipping and they'll get it to you in about three business days. Okay, and then that one is about $9 and they'll get it in two business days. Uh, ten dollars and that's 1.5 business days that's a bit faster and this is uh, the business days for the production not for the shipping so they'll make this t-shirt in, in about two days and then after two days then they will ship it to you and then the shipping time plus the production time is the amount of time you can promise your clients that you're going to get this t-shirt and this is reasonable this is not like your two weeks drop shipping times okay most clients can do with waiting for their products for about uh, five working days because that's what it would normally work out to if you include the shipping in there and um so you're going to pick a provider that is closest um uh, i mean that's got the the best um you know um combination of price and shipping okay and i like to go for the just the cheapest okay so this one that's fulfilled in canada um, um, it's about $7 and ships for $6. That's a lot. Okay. So they've just taken the, the price into the shipping. Okay. Um, monster digital, um, two days, $4, nine. Okay. So most of the shipping price is about $4. And then this looks like the cheapest in terms of pricing. So I'm going to go for this one, okay? And um, But then also have a look at the colors, okay? So you want the colors. So base colors for this T-shirt, this supplier will only have one, two, three, four colors. This one has more options, but that's why the pricing is a little bit higher. And this one has more options. This one has the most options and the highest price. So which means you can make your T-shirt in different colors and offer your clients uh, uh, multiple opportunities. I actually want a T-shirt in gold. So I'm stuck with one or two. Okay. And I will go for this one, um, which is $4.50 and $10. And I'm going to say um, start designing. Okay, so that's the t-shirt. I'm going to add my design over there. I'm going to pick a design from my device and I'm just, I've got a nice image of a uh, lion I want to design with. And um, so one thing about your images and your designs is that you need a high resolution images. Okay, and if your resolution is not high enough, they will decline your design. So um, you can make amazing t-shirts here. I mean, I was just Googling um, ideas um, uh, for this video and, and have a look at that, okay? This t-shirt, for example, um, currently sells on um, um, this, this image. You could create beautiful designs that look like this. And this image, um, this t-shirt currently sells at, um, if you look the... Uh, bigblue.co.za um, okay this is a different design um, this one specifically sells on superba list but it's out of stock okay so these t-shirts are going for a lot of money people are paying 250 rand for these t-shirts okay so what you can do i mean if you look at the four dollars uh shipping that this that that this costs um i'm just going to estimate what that four dollars is in rands um that 4.5 dollars is is about 76 rand okay so you can actually just add the 76 rand onto your 200 rand initial cost and still manage to sell this t-shirt for 250 rand and still make a profit so if you look at 250 rand which is what superbolis is selling this for okay and you divide this by our exchange rate it comes up to about 14 dollars about 15 dollars okay and if you come here and you look at the price which was 10 plus 14 yeah, it's close to 15 okay so so we're looking at 250 rand 
uh, pricing without a profit. Okay, so you're going to have to sell yours a little bit higher and add the pricing into that. Or what you can do, you can separate the shipping and then the clients can pay for the shipping themselves. Even on Superbolis, they pay for shipping. So you could say, you know, you could sell it for like 250 rand okay and then say um but shipping is at your own cost and then you put the shipping separately people will still pay it if your design is really um attractive and good enough people are going to pay what you are um asking for it and you could come to a place like here and create the design okay so i'm not going to create that design because of copyright issues i'm going to just create i just got a nice picture of a line and, you, and if you're a designer and you've got some graphic design skills you can do amazing designs here you know that your design is a limit and your design is, is what's going to separate you from the next person selling t-shirts okay so you put that in there and um, um you like where it looks and you say save product um actually before i save that product i'm going to go back to um um to edit that okay i'm, still, I'm going to go back to edit it because i want to change the background color i don't want that white um a background color i want um a different i want the sort of the brownish let me see that dark brown Yes, look at that so you've got that brownish color and they're going to print that line on top of it and um, then you can say save product okay so you've got that product uh, uh five sizes uh, printed and you can you know put writing as well but um, we're gonna do that later okay so before we can do that we're going to now um, connect our shop our store not Shopify we're going to connect our WooCommerce store to this so that we can sync the orders between WooCommerce and Printify and this allows you to do that so that you don't have to come in between so that when a client places an order directly to your store it's synced and it just comes and comes out of uh, Printify and the order is made and you know everything just happens in the background and you just have to manage you know uh your client expectations on your side so um there's 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 different uh options that you can add here you know shopify um etsy wix uh woocommerce ebay you know depending on where you're selling from you know big commerce all the different e-commerce uh, suppliers but we're going to work with because we're working with woocommerce that's the one that we're going to connect okay and you're going to just add the url for your store a day okay so we're gonna go to our uh store and we're gonna get that url there and we're going to come back and, and edit in the, okay, connect. Okay, and it will take you to your WooCommerce front end. You're now actually on your WooCommerce, um, you're on your own domain to approve um, that listing. Just say uh, approve so that you can be able to link the orders on your WooCommerce store to the orders on your Printify. Um, so this works like drop shipping, but for uh, printed items and um, everything will be automated in the back end, um, you know, and so forth. And your store name, um, we're just going to call this funky, funky T and that's the URL. And we're going to save that. Okay, and um, just your personal details there, um, funky T and um, all right. So now that you've connected your store, you are able to uh, uh, publish the products that you've created here into your, into your store. So let's click that publish button and see what happens. There you go. Okay. So um, this is on your domain this is the store okay and this is um so there's different colors for the t-shirts white and dark chocolate and this is a price that is being sold for at your store and people can have a look at the different color there and that different color there and they can design and there's the description it comes right through for you and um, the pricing, obviously, I can see this is in pounds. We are going to change that and all the different sizes. So all the different product variations is all imported for you. OK, so when a client comes in here, they can just quickly, you know, uh, pick the, the whatever size they want. They can pick the color. They can edit to card and they can place an order. We need to fix is our uh, currency in the store. OK, so for that, you would go to WooCommerce, click on the WooCommerce button and then go to settings at the bottom. It will take you to this general settings for WooCommerce and um, all the different things you need to get done. But I'm just interested in look in the pricing. So I'll go down here at the bottom 
enter your address, not my real address, and um, uh, just pick the currency to be South African Rand and where you want it, okay, and um, and then click save. And once you do that and you go back to your website and you restart it there, you will see the currency is now in, uh, shown in Rand. But this is still problematic because they've just uh, changed the you know the pounds to the rands, but the actual number is 18, which means if you sell this t-shirt at 18 rands in your store, you're going to make a loss. So you need to incorporate currency conversion in here. And this is going to work very similarly to how drop shipping works. You need to incorporate your currency conversion and then your profitability, and then include that in the pricing. And for that, we need to go back to Printify. And if you look at Printify, um, if you go back to your um, My Store under Printify, um, you will see the the, the, the shirts. Uh, I'm going to just delete that. Uh, what is this? Um, delete that. Um, uh, you can see it in the store, but what we want to do is we want to edit the listing, okay? And if you edit the listing, you will see the, the colors, um, um, you know, um, and you can get the description and you can, this is a description that is, that is, that has been uh, taken over to your store. So if you look at your store description here, um, that description, it comes from there. So you can change it, um, over here. Um, and obviously you want to write this for SEO. We've discussed this a lot. Obviously you can't just say women's soft tea. I mean, you would say something like, um, funky tea for women, um, you know, um, comfortable design, comfortable, um, sort of fit. You know, whatever it is you feel you want to say here. And um, this is not the SEO tutorial. There is a tutorial we've already done on writing your product pages for SEO. And please go and have a look at that. So I'm not going to spend details in writing your product descriptions. But what I'm illustrating here is that you, this is where you can change your product title and make sure that you write it for SEO. And you're going to paste it there and um, make this long and nice and, and, and interesting. And then you can click um, uh, next and then you can go to your variants. And um, um, this way, if you decide, for example, I don't want to send a sell a size 2x, whatever, in my store, you can just remove it from here. But these are all the variants that come from the supplier and the prices. So the cost goes from about 10 to $11. And um, they've already added a profit for you of 38%. And, um, and, 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 and decided that the retail pricing for this should be 19 US dollars, but you obviously want it in rands because it's going to show 19 here, but then your store is in rand and then you're going to be selling this for 19 rand and you don't want that. So what you're going to do here is you're going to decide first of all, what kind of profit you want to make and that 40%, I mean, I would say that's a reasonable amount. And if you had to make a 40% profit, you would be selling this for 19 US dollars. But if you took 19 US dollars and you multiplied that by your exchange rate, which is about, let's say 17, uh, uh, to the exchange rate, that would be uh, 323. So you want this price here to be 323. So you want to multiply this by uh, 20 or, you know, you want the multiplier, you know, to multiply this by 20 or more. So, okay. So you're going to keep increasing this. Okay. Until you get, um, uh, to 300, let's say 330 rand. Okay. Um, and that says a profit 96%, but that's not really true because we are working with South African rand. So you are still actually making a profit of only about, um, a 40%. So, um, so what we ended up is a retail price of 330, okay? Um, and this 330 is um, uh, in South African rand, and that's the amount that will be transferred over to your store. And we're just going to say next here, and um, and we're going to um, publish to the WooCommerce store the descriptions, everything, the colors, the prices, and click a publish. And once you do that, if you go back to the page that you were on, let's just refresh this page. Um, all that changes should should come through. Um, not yet. Okay, I see the rands have come through, but um, okay, so it's still publishing.
Awesome, so that should be done. Let's go and refresh this again and see if it has come through. That's 330 rands. You can pick whatever size you want and color between dark chocolate and white. And uh, people can come here already and place an order, add to cart and so forth. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is to fix the way our store looks because currently the front page of our store still looks like this. Okay, so what we want is we want to get... First of all, I'm going to do this off camera and create a couple of different designs for t-shirts. Okay. So that I can have content to put on the front page here and I can have content for the menu and uh, we're going to finish up the way our store currently looks. So this is the website with the menu at the top. So, um, off camera, what I did was, um, I, I was having difficulty with, um, you know, we were, if we go back to where we were, um, under appearance, customize, and, um, I added the menu. When I went to the website, um, this menu was not clickable for some reason and couldn't figure it out. And sometimes it's just the theme or I don't know, um, you know, with this, uh, WooCommerce things. So what I did, I just changed. I went back to, um, to, um, uh, the, you know, the theme and I changed that theme. You can just change the theme there to any other theme that you want. If your theme doesn't work for you, you just find, come across some, some issues that don't seem to make sense. I just changed it to ocean WP, which always works for me when it comes to e-commerce. So, um, now if you go back to the website, you can click on the different, um, they are all clickable. Now, what, what I want to do is just to make this front page look nicer and, and link the individual products here um, uh, directly to the product pages and remove that and have a bit of testimonials, you know, and just be finished with this website.